Hey guys, it's time for a new LP! Yes, I know I still have Poké Park Wii and Pokémon XD unfinished, but this is a very short one. So, let's see what game we have here, even though you already know from the video title and stuff. So, a big spaceship. Oh, hey, there's Samus's spaceship. So, I guess we're playing a Metroid game. Yep, there's Samus sitting in her spaceship. Apparently escorting that freighter through the asteroid belt. Warning. Uh, she's moving closer to the asteroid field. Uh, wait, what's going on? Samus! Samus, what are you doing? Oh boy. Dun. It's Metroid Fusion Which is one of my favorite games of all time Because it's awesome I'd been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team So I once again found myself on the surface of SR388 Which is the planet from Metroid 2 Return of Samus The Game Boy Color game and there's a, an evil froggy. Nuke it! There we go. Wait, what's that? Yellow thing. Shoot it! Oh crap. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. This looks ominous. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker. The parasitic organism we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Oh crap. Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. Ouch. That can't be good. Oh yeah, here's the scene from the intro. And now there's some creepy... The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologic's vessel recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation HQ. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me. Ew. Corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had, been, had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. That's unfortunate. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. And the X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. Sweet, so apparently the Metroid stuff really works. See, they're shrinking and now they're gone. And Samus has turned blue. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived. Reborn as something different. She's now half human, half Metroid. Epic. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. Apparently that's the ship's computer. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs or BSL research station. 
During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I'm being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt, computerized CEO is something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CEO. Yeah, who could that be? For the people who've played Metroid Other M, this game is pretty much an open book. Because this game is pretty much a direct sequel to Metroid Other M, even though it was released 8 years earlier. So the Metroid series has some really good chronology. Chrono. Nah, screw it, they have a really good timeline. So there's the map of the station. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388 as well as the parts of your suit infected by the X-Parasites. The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear, investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your land abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Yes, sir. Now go to the quarantine bay. Get used to that computer because he'll be bossing you around for the entire damn game. So we can shoot and jump. And that's all we can do. Shoot and jump. But Samus has a new trick up her sleeve. This was the first Metroid game in which she could actually grab ledges. Because you couldn't do that in Metroid, Metroid 2 or Super Metroid. So yeah, they really made some groundbreaking progress with this game. And here's the navigation room already. The quarantine bay is ahead. Biosigns are confirmed, be careful. That's all? Okay, let's go then. Uh, okay, we have to go up. This place is dark. It's scary. And really, this is the scariest Metroid game I've played so far. And I've, like, played every single Metroid game apart from the Game Boy Advanced one and the DS one. And Pinball. But who gives a crap about pinball? So we went in the quarantine base, shot a frog, and the next parasite came out. So that's probably not a very good sign. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey, any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. Ew. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection, only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine worked so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. Yay! In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. Convenient. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. You may also restore land abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. This station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I'm already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. This may be your chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capa capacity. 
Chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Yes, now get going. I have released the lock on level 0 hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. Okay, we can now open some doors. Uh, go up, I guess. Because that's where the bio signs were. So what's in... Oh crap, it's a frog. Okay, frog dealt with. Uh, yeah, let's save our data. Just in case we get our ass kicked by one of those random frogs. Because in this game you never know what's going to happen. Uh, what's in... Oh, what the hell is that kind of thing? That... Okay, can't destroy that. And apparently they have like purple gelatines, gelatin zombies running around here. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Yes, it's clear. With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Sweet, so just by getting missiles, our survival chance doubles. Super. Uh, that way is blocked by some wires. So I guess this way it's gonna be... Oh yeah, here's that elevator up there. That goes up there. Da -da -da. That computer reminds me of a gruff Federation CEO I served under named Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on Missions. From anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. Yeah. I won't spoil anything. Yet. Or maybe I just did by saying that. Ah, screw it. So, let's go to the data room and get some missiles. There we go. Sweet, we now have missiles. We can blow stuff up now. Oh crap, we're locked in here. Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. Crap. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It's located here. Yeah, we know. I'm reading huge biosigns, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can use a recharge room or absorb a special type of X parasite. You'll see them. Try it out. Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now find a way to the target. Basically, if you absorb green X parasites, you restore missile ammo. And this is our alternate way out of here, so blow that hatch open. And, okay, that thing can be destroyed by missiles. There we go. Blast the zombie again. And I'm wondering who designed this place. Because it's a mess. Hey, you missile tank already. That's pretty sweet. What's in here? Uh, probably nothing I have the necessary tools for to get. Yeah. Oh, wait. Another missile tank. And I was about to leave the room. Such convenience. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the target area now. So I'll just head up here because there's a save room over there. I'll save my game and then I'll see you in the next part of Metroid Fusion when we go and investigate the target. So see you then.